What did Vivaldo do at night before he fought Canelo? Well, I have some answers for you. Just like I promised, here's the video on first time meeting Dmitry Vivaldo. Was he a bad person? Was he a good person? Was he nice? Well, let's find out. It was a Canelo fight week, so as a media member I came to work that week in Las Vegas. I was in the elevator area, and that's the area, by the way, boxing fans, for you, where you can meet a lot of boxers. I see Bivol's manager, um, Vadim, and I kind of like, hi, um, Christina, I'm a boxer reporter, you know, and I do speak Russian, so we start speaking Russian and I asked him for the interview of uh, Bivol. And I believe that was Thursday and we followed each other on Instagram. I guess, okay, we'll let you know, we'll let you know. It happens all the time because boxers are super busy during the fight week. So, and then, you know, Friday, he's like, yeah, we can do the interview tonight after the weigh-in. And I know that's like the time when most of the boxers, they don't even want to deal with me media members anymore. They already had press conference, they already had win, they finally can eat, they finally can relax, and they finally can get focused on the fight night. So I was like, okay, well, no way, no way it's happening, right? And then they're like, okay, yeah, let, let's do it right now after the weigh in. And it was like late at night already, you know? But they're like, okay, coming to the sweet levels, um, or I don't know how it's called, guys, <laughs> anyway, I forgot. Um, Whatever it is, uh, we are the main event fighters spend a night when they are at MGM Grand. Anyway, those expensive uh, rooms. And for those who haven't been there, you walk in, uh, there's a special elevator, not the main elevator, but everybody goes, there's a special elevator with the doors where you go upstairs. Over there, you meet MGM Grand workers. There are some couches and everything looks fancy and nice, not like MGM hotel because honestly it's not like it, it's been so trashy. Vadim and Dmitri they, they come out to meet me and I was going to do the interview at this area but then you know the hotel didn't want us to be there so the hotel members were nice enough to give us like a an empty suite where me the manager and Dmitri went to do the interview. This is the first time I met Dmitri Bivol guys so I met Canelo, I met Floyd, I met like all of these guys, but I've never met Bivol. And we speak the same language. Usually what you and I know that people from my country or Slavic boxers, right? Eastern European boxers, as we may call them, they are very reserved and they are not very talkative. They very like, you could call it stubborn. I don't know, they're very cold, right? So it's very hard to have a conversation with them. But once they get to know you, obviously it changes them. It's just a part of the mentality. Uh, Dimitri, he doesn't even know me. He doesn't know who I am. I, I, I think so. I don't know, maybe he watched my videos, but like to me, we're like strangers. I have my gear with me, right? I have my gear with me and I need to move it. And it's like a lot. I have tripod, I have camera, I have microphone, I have all of this. People was like, oh yeah, I'll help you. You know, he just grabs everything, goes, and he was such an easygoing person and his energy was just very, very positive. I, I mean, okay, in regular life, that's nothing to be surprised of, right? Oh, nice person, he helps you with a bag. But that's like a night before of your biggest fight in your life. I mean, maybe for that, for him it wasn't even like that, but for everybody else was, right? You're an underdog, you're fighting Canelo, there's gonna be thousands of fans. I'm like the only one who gets to do one-on-one -on -one video, not at the media center, not at the, you know, press conference and whatever, where everybody gets a turn for the interview. I'm like here and I have an exclusive and we can do it in Russian language and I can just, you know, do my thing like I did with Loma back in the days. Uh, we get in that room and I set up my camera and we just start talking. And from our interview, if you haven't watched it or if you want to rewatch it, since Bivol is fighting better beef, here's the link. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes and new follows. We do the interview, I ask a few questions, everything goes nice and afterwards 
usually it's like okay you get interview okay bye it's a part of a job you know and a lot of boxers need to understand especially eastern european boxers who are not at the level yet they need to understand that fighting is fighting but you can be a star you can make a lot of money if you are not interesting to the fans and fans play a big role and you have to do the media part you have to promote yourself your promoters are not gonna do it for you they are not good so you have to use your social media platform if you're not about that hire people and very important talk to us talk to media and you have to say something so it will be easier for us if any boxers watching me right now you have to give us some lines to put up in our titles just like Rollies does. Rollies does it amazing. Like you can quote this guy left and right and it makes it so easy for us, for media members. After the interview, I pack my stuff and I'm ready to leave and I didn't even expect to have a chit chat, to be honest. Uh, and we just started talking about life, where did you come from, this and that, very calm. His energy was super calm. He was just having a conversation with a person. You know, sometimes when you have nothing to do and you go to a bar, I don't know what, what you guys do, and you just go to a park and talk to a random person and, you know, maybe it was the same language, maybe whatever. But the most important thing that I've noticed about uh, Dmitry people that he notices everything around you like for example i'm watching this camera and i'm focused talking to you guys obviously i'm doing it at my house but if i did it somewhere else i wouldn't really memorize all the stuff that is in the room but he knew he knew all my gear all my stuff like i i can't remember exactly how it was but he just left me with that impression that it, it happened like a couple of times and i'm like whoa this guy knows everything that's happening around him like he's so sharp he's so mentally sharp and i can't name you a one boxer who was the same way usually boxers are you know all over the place he was super calm like i don't know bruce lee <laughs> uh, feel free about this. let's move on to the fight night there was the whole stadium thousands of fans cheering for canelo and I'm sitting there and thinking, why would Canelo take this fight? And I'm like, guys, I just don't know. I see Canelo walking in the ring and everybody cheering for him. Too hyped up, you know, for Canelo. And then Bivo walks in and yeah, everybody's booing. And then the fight starts and I see exactly the same energy that I saw a night before. Like absolutely focused 100%, calm, ready, and smart and intelligent i remember the arena everybody was just so upset because honestly like 99 percent of people came there for canelo let's get real dmitry bivol was he popular um in boxing community but he was never popular between regular and casuals before he fought canelo some fans were mad some fans were just disappointed some women in the arena they were just happy it's over and they can leave <laughs> uh, but for me i wasn't surprised guys it's just the person people was left me with the impression that he's just different he's just different breed and i am so excited to see people versus better be of I never met Better Beef and I hopefully I can talk to him and see what type of person he is and then maybe I can predict that fight. <laughs> but I leave all the technical boxing questions to the experts and to you fans. So make sure you comment what do you think about Bivol versus Better Beef. Break it down as much as you can. I love to hear your opinions. Follow me on Instagram at Snow Queen LA. I respond to most of the comments and i read everything you write in these comments keep voting on the polls i post keep watching my stories keep giving me reactions it motivates me to give you more content
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've learned something new about Bivo and I will try my best to put light on this Eastern European fighters. They do deserve to be known more and they do have personality. And apparently I'm the only one who can do it. So follow me for more content like that. And let me know which fighter you would like me to talk about next. The name that I will see most in the comments, I'll talk about next.